this is going to be a long one, so grab yourself a drink. There's no denying it, I'm an Adobe fanboy. I have all the subscriptions and I use Premiere Pro and I use Lightroom. I've been using them for so long, I'm so used to them. It's like your favorite pair of slippers. I do the same kind of workflow every single time and it works for me. But guess what? I tried Capture Pro and I like it. Look. I'm going to admit, when I first opened this program, I was just ready to hit the cross. I was like, oh, don't like the design. Where's all my stuff gone? Ah, I just don't like any of it. Close it, close it. I've actually tried Capture One in the past, and I gave it about 10 minutes and just X'd it. I was like, no, no, no. The thing is, Lightroom, I have all my libraries in there, all my files, and it's it syncs with my phone it does everything and that's a very good reason for staying with Lightroom and us as photographers we can tell you the technical reasons as well these are just raw processors at the end of the day and there's there's reasons why some people would like Lightroom and there's reasons why some people would like Capture One and as photographers technical people we can argue that all day long but what about your customers and what about your workflow? I tried an interesting test. Let's just forget about everything other than the people that are going to look at your photos, the people that have paid you for your time to come and take pictures of them. Do you think that they're worried what camera you're using, what f-stop you're using, what ISO you're using? The Boca! They're going to sit down with a laptop and go through the images or an iPad and if it's a wedding for example they're going to see the ones that they like and they're going to order those pictures and that is the end of it. Now if I shoot something that I'm really passionate for I can spend days editing the files and that's fine. There are days when you feel creative and you have that inspiration to load up Lightroom and really get stuck in you know I can just sit there for hours and once I start you get into it and you can just go and go and go other days I get back two and a half thousand raw files on the SD cards and the last thing I want to do is touch them and this is really where workflow comes into it. I can make a Capture One image look like a Lightroom image and I can make a Lightroom image look like a Capture One image. But what about if you just want to do practically nothing at all? Capture One might be able to help you. It takes the image, the raw file, and it processes it differently. The raw file is data. And it's like a recipe. If you were to give Gordon Ramsay a recipe for apple crumble and you were to give the same to Delia, they're both going to make amazing apple crumbles, but they're probably going to taste a little bit different. And that is where these two come in. Capture One adds a little bit more saturation, adds a little bit of sharpening to it. If you are trying to do your images from the very beginning and they're the most important work you've ever done in your life, you might not want that. But, again, if it's workflow that we're talking about, this could be one reason to at least look at Capture One. So going back to clients and the people that are actually going to view the images, forget photographers, forget the tech specs. Clients aren't interested in that. They just want to see beautiful pictures. So I set up a blind test. I put a number of files on a website and named them just one, two, three, four, five. There wasn't any clues in the title. I put in there unprocessed roars from Capture One, unprocessed roars from Lightroom, processed roars from Capture One, and processed roars from Lightroom. And bear in mind, I'm a lot better at processing raw in Lightroom because I've used it for so long Whereas Capture One, I'm new to it and still finding my way around. Well, the results were straight 
down the line. 100% capture one. Every single person chose to capture one image. Now that's not to say I couldn't make the Lightroom image look like the capture one image if that's what I wanted to do, but that's not really the point, is it? The fact is that all of them preferred the capture one image and now I can't put rhyme or reason to it color is subjective to everybody how I see red in these pictures here is not necessarily how you see red but the fact still remains if I was to do this with you guys with you photographers out there you would probably go in there and give me all the technical reasons what's better and what's not and that's fine that's what us gear techie people like to do but it's not what the client wants to do. They're not interested. They'll just show their family and pick pictures from an iPad screen. That's all they will do. So they're not interested in anything other than the final look. The workflow, even if you're building on the pictures, if you start with a better process, it's a lot quicker to build upon it. I can work so much quicker in Capture One now. As yet, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna actually completely move over. I do still prefer the, the way that Lightroom basically handles all my files and stores all my files and syncs to the devices. I think that's extremely good and I don't know whether I'm ready to give that up yet. But from, from a workflow point of view, this Capture One is simply saving me so much time and I can open an image in Capture One and it immediately it's kind of already half done for me. It's got a look that I already like. You might not like it. If you're not a saturation or sharpened kind of person, you might just think, oh my God, I would prefer pure log look where all the colors are dialed right back and that is fine. But when I use Lightroom, I tend to add a little bit of saturation and a little bit of sharpness as the very first things I do. What I tried was going into Lightroom, setting a preset to add uh, what Capture One does, and it does work to a degree. And then I tried that on the blind test. For me, I thought they basically looked identical. Honestly, I really did think they looked identical. I do a blind test with some clients. They all <laughs> chose the Capture One files again, 100%. So like, what? Is there something that I can't see? I don't know what it is, but all the clients are choosing the Capture One files. So you could, process the raw and capture one turn them into a tiff and then scoot them back to lightroom if you just did want all your structure to be in lightroom you could even use capture one and lightroom and point it to the same set of files but in the long term i think one has to make a decision on what route they're going to go and that is a tough decision because i've used lightroom for so long the good thing for us Sony shooters is this Capture One Pro for Sony is at about 60, 60 bucks, 60 euros, something along those lines. It's probably 300 or more if you want all the support for all the cameras. But as a Sony shooter, it's heavily subsidized, which is another great reason. I think for now, I'll run them both together and see how I go. But honestly, it's just saving me so much time. And I, I kind of just enjoying enjoying the roars again. You know, sometimes you can get a bit bogged down uh, when you get back from these shoots. It's, oh man, another two and a half thousand roars to go. In this, you can easily get away with not doing anything. Um, if You know, just for the, for the shots that are important, but they're not going for paid work. They're not going to a client where you really want to go onto every single file and just make sure everyone is perfect. If it's just for my portfolio work and I just want to do a little bit of touching, you can just fire it off in, in Capture One and it, it gets you in a much better place to start with. So it's saving me, saving me hours. And I'm kind of liking rediscovering the tools. I'm finding a lot of new features, which I won't go into here, but things like sessions, um, tethering, studio work, um, it's, it's eye-opening. There's lots of things that I just thought Lightroom had. And when you do try another program, it throws up some things where you think, ah, that is a great idea. So may maybe the key is to use both. I'm not sure yet. I'll keep you updated with my progress. I'm gonna make some videos on the kind of beginner's guide to capture one and take you through my journey as it will, as I start discovering 
Capture One. If you are a Lightroom user, give it a try. It is a free trial, not sponsored, not paid. Um, I think you should just give it a look. If you have tried it and you think it isn't for you, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. There's no reason to be one team or another. Like I say, I think I'm gonna use both for now, but it is eye-opening. I think you should at least give it a look. It certainly opened my eyes. Don't just hit the X as soon as you open it because you don't like the look. One th kind of little tip that I've got for you is to go into Window and Workspace and go down here to Migration. And it does give you a kind of Lightroom look. Made it a lot easier for me. And another thing to do, go onto the Capture One YouTube channel. There's a lot of videos there that can get you started. If you give it a little bit of time, you might actually find you like it. And like I say, I'm gonna be making some films, some videos on my journey with it. But certainly it's an eye-opening experience and I'm glad I took the time to try the trial. As usual guys, it's been emotional. <laughs>